Good day to you fellow hunter. Welcome back to another session with me. Uh, today's session, um, we are still looking for a big 150 whitetail buck. But we're also looking for a moose that has at least 8 typical points on each um, antler rack. So yeah. We're back here in Red Feather Falls, and I'm gonna basically do the same thing, which is go to the tree stand, go to the watch tower, and let's see what this hunting session has in store for us. Well, I'll be damned. And here I was waiting for something to call, and lo and behold, that's what I'm looking for. A 170 to 215. That could potentially be a big, big white tail. 70 meters away. Well, isn't that a big surprise? So he's roughly 20 meters away. Alright, let's try and pop a shot. He is in a very weird angle, but I think that that should do. Yes. Perfect. That did it. Right on the money. And by the by the looks of it, it was like a shot straight to the spine, so. He didn't even feel the thing. 177. Okay, so yeah, uh, because. So let's take a nice pose shot, screenshot, mug shot, whatever you want to call it. And that is Whitetail mission complete. Now we just need to find a big moose. And let's, uh, let's get the GMS rolling again. Well, it isn't a big moose, but it's a moose. And I don't think that he's gonna... I don't think that he's gonna make the... Uh, the eight typical points on each, uh, each side of the rack. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's definitely not going to make it. But... It's a moose, and I'm still field testing the pump action shotgun. So, it is a viable option to take down. Right, we're around 50 meters. Let's see if I can get to the side before he starts moving again, get a side shot, at least in the lung, because if I do that, I know that he's gonna go down relatively quick. Unless there's something worth taking on the, on the sides, I doubt. So yeah, I'm gonna use the, ah, oh, he's turning. Well, he is... No. Well, he's turning now. Now would now be a good time for, for a long shot. Oh, that drop him. Straight out. That just drop him straight away. I don't know if that was in the lungs or in sp or in the spine because normally they don't drop dead on the spot with a long shot. Unless unless this weapon is has more kick to it, although the, the shell is the same, 
I really doubt. Alright, let's let's take a good look at you. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's two is um two typical points short. In the spine! Okay. Okay, so no wonder that he dropped straight away. So yeah, spine shot. Well, would you look at that? That is exactly what I'm looking for. 130 to 205. That is exactly what I'm looking for. And if I'm not mistaken, that has enough typical points for the uh, for the mission. And, if I'm not mistaken, there should be another one not far from there, because I was tracking a other male, other bull, moose. And, oh, look, and he's even coming this way, so that, that's even better. So, I was tracking another bull, and he went this way. Now, I don't know exactly where he went but I'm gonna guess that he went a little bit m more to my uh, right over to that island right there but I'm not gonna be tracking him because I already have a visual on a bull moose that's going to finish the mission that I want to finish that is to use a slug on a bull moose that has at least eight typical points on each rack each side and that definitely has more than enough to do so I'm gonna see if I can get oh I can call him I I keep forgetting that I have a moose collar I always forget that I have this useful tool and it doesn't allow me to chase the animal and see if I can get a good shot. I just I just can call him in. And then I can just shoot him in the heart, like in the last video. I always forget about the collars. If you if you're a hunter and you're and you're uh, oops and if you're hunting, don't forget about the collars. Don't be a a uh, you know, traditional hunter where you don't use co use them. It's a game, okay? Nobody cares if you call the animal to you. Nobody's gonna judge you. It's a tool to make your job as a, as a hunter easier. And kaboosh! That's how you do it. Even though I couldn't aim lower because the ground. Don't ask me why. That that's a thing. That's a thing. But yeah, that definitely. I'm just gonna go collect the tips or hints for a more XP because I, I want to get some tracking. Okay, that was a double lung on the shoulder, and that is a 153 that's good uh, it's in the water I don't I don't want to risk crashing the game like the other time and there you go that does it for the mission for the moose and uh, well I'm gonna continue hunting a little bit more offline because I don't really want to waste a session just like this like hunt two animals or three animals and be done no I'm gonna continue hunting and um, well I'm I guess I'm gonna use the rest of the the rest of the footage that I collect for you know another hunting montage I guess well anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys are enjoying the content I hope you subscribe like leave a comment and if you're feeling very generous to click that notification bell for when my videos go live keep safe people don't forget about the colors in 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 the hunting games they're very they're a very useful uh, tool don't use them right use them
thank you again so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good hunting and peace.